Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Edo Lemma. Suppose that a stochastic process x of t satisfies the SDE dx is mu dt plus sigma dw. And these are all at time t. And we know what the form of this process has to be. This says that x of t will have to be mu t plus sigma Brownian motion at time t. So if my process x follows this structure, then any function of x then phi of x of t and t will satisfy the SDE. d phi of x of t t will be equal to d phi dt plus mu d phi dx plus one half sigma squared partial squared phi partial x squared dt plus sigma partial phi partial x dw. This formula over here is referred to as the Ito lemma. So, how do we prove the Ito lemma? Well, we will tailor expand. So this will be the rough proof of the Ito lemma. We tailor expand the differential. d phi, and I'll suppress all the variables. d phi will be d phi dt dt plus d phi dx dx plus one half partial squared phi partial x squared dx squared plus two partial squared phi partial x partial t dx dt plus partial squared phi partial t squared dt squared plus higher order terms. Now we carefully examine each of these terms and we're going to use the important fact that we drove in class that dw squared is dt. We prove this by the quadratic variation formula. So this is the quadratic variation for Brownian motion. So we'll use this fact and now we'll expand this out. So our formula will be partial phi partial t dt plus partial phi partial x and now we use what dx is. It is mu dt plus sigma dw and now we will have a one half partial squared phi partial x squared and then mu dt plus sigma dw quantity squared. And then we will also have the other terms. We will have the plus dx dt terms and the plus dt squared terms. These terms, these leftover terms, will all be order higher than dt. So we'll disregard them in terms of the differential equation. So if we simplify this, we'll continue on. We will see up to terms, so this will be equal to up to order dt terms. Will be equal to partial phi partial t plus mu partial phi partial x then over here we will have a mu squared dt squared which we'll disregard. We'll have a 2 mu sigma dt dw that will be higher than dt so we'll disregard it and I'll have a sigma squared dw squared and since dw squared is dt I'll get a 1 half 
sigma squared, and then I'll have a partial squared phi, partial x squared term, and those are all my dt terms. Plus, the only term that remains that has a single Brownian motion is sigma partial phi partial x dw, and this provides us with a proof of the Edo lemma. So concisely, the Edo lemma says that up to terms that are higher than order dt, so terms of the form dt or dt to the 3 halves power or dt squared, we disregard all those with respect to the ordinary differential, and we keep the terms that have order dt or lower. Now, to see an example of this, we consider x of t, which is 0t plus 1wt. So our x of t is just going to be Brownian motion. So in the eta formula, mu is equal to 0, and sigma is equal to 1. And if we consider x of t to the fourth power, our function phi in this case will be x to the fourth. So all of our terms, so what SD will this satisfy? dx to the fourth of t will be equal to, there is no t dependence, so that term will be zero. The mu was assumed to be zero. I'll have a one half sigma squared, so this will be a one half. Sigma squared is going to be one. And the second derivative of x to the fourth will be 12 x squared. So I'll have an x of t quantity squared. There are no other terms over here. So those are my dt terms. Plus my sigma is 1 and my dx dt is 4x cubed. So I have a 4 x of t cubed in the direction of Brownian motion. So if we simplify this, we will have 6 x of t squared dt plus 4x of t cubed dw. Thank you very much.